the, the BRG tunnel here and head up uh, north of the commercial. BRG tunnel is put up by uh, me and Yankee when Yankee finally came back to us after a hiatus. I, I wanted to put out the whole Bottle Rocket Gaming lettering, but that just didn't happen. So we go through the commercial here. We've got the um, visitor center on our right. And this was started by me back in the day. Then Linz and Dano graciously decided to pick it up and do something with it. And as you can see... Um, we never finished it. <laughs> it, got, yeah. it got something done. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think you did finish it, and then the server crashed. Yeah, well, we didn't, there's I don't a lot we could be done. We got yeah, we didn't, to it. we didn't finish the, the build. These maps are a pain in the butt. Yes, yeah. they are. They welcome are. welcome to Vanilla are, Maps. You can't blame us for this. This is all vanilla. So you put uh, vanilla warp, maps. Is Town Hall twice here? Or is that just me? Huh? Is there is City Hall twice? Is it showing up twice? On the map? What? Line? There's oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, no, this this is we were moving things over to get the yeah, map set. Yeah, we had to do a shift. Yeah, and I think I think we didn't quite finish the shift <laughs> before the before the backup. Yeah, because somebody crashed the server. I just don't know. What, well, actually, I know exactly what went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is kind of cool because you can then, see. Uh, then I had accounted for. You can see where we started from at the spawn point right here under me. You can see the basilica, the VSD built. You can see the main uh, residential area, and then of course up here you can see the, the city hall we're standing next to right now, and the little star flower looking thing. And then up north there you'll see the commercial district. So just a little quick pass flyover. Uh, commercial district was meant to be kind of a just a commercial where people could sell things, but being that we were kind of a community store, community based thing, you really couldn't sell much of anything because everybody stored all their stuff together in the main area. So this kind of became the source of fun stuff. So like for example, for my like, pranks. We had uh, the Saving the Lone Sharks for the prank they did with VSD. You'll notice the theme of color here because I iced over her house. Um, <laughs> and then uh, up uh, this way here, we had the uh, mailbox. I was starting to build for our post office. So we never got a chance to finish, but I actually built a giant mailbox as the post office, which I was rather proud of. And then right here, this was the uh, prank I pulled on Ruark. This is a pest control building. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually originally was going to do this with Yankee, but he couldn't make it, so I ended up Toxin to help me out. Um, but uh, we had a little fun doing a skit, and we actually infested uh, Rourke's house with bugs. And apparently Rourke doesn't like bugs too much, and he ended up solving the issue by blowing <laughs> up his house. <laughs> uh, definitely uh, look up uh, Rourke88 on YouTube, and you can filter through his uh, his videos and find that uh, that prank. is rather fun. Um, the only other thing real big here we mean talks started to build was the uh, media uh, new media building. We're actually going to build a building that's going to be full of YouTubers. We actually would have like a studio in here, meeting rooms, etc. Just something fun for us to get together and you know have a, a, a in game uh, interchange for ideas and whatnot, just for the heck of it. And our, oh, uh, it's a play symbol. <laughs> It's a, it's a <laughs> yes, it worked. <laughs> wow. You know, I was gonna say, why is there a? I was gonna say, first of all, I was gonna say, why is there a poor man's Canadian flag here? But, wow. Uh, the maple leaf is red. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That's why I said poor man. It's not perfect. Not to mention, it looks like does not look like anything like a maple leaf. I know. <laughs> Go oh, see what I made last year. He's Scottish. He doesn't leaf? understand. They just do they just do lines to keep it simple. I know my accent is weird, but I'm not from Canada. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and zip back across here. I don't want to keep it too much time. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna zip back across the bridge. It never got built. VST is gonna build us a big, elegant, fun bridge. Good going, VST. <laughs> yep, this bridge looks amazing, VST. Yeah, right now. Yeah, no, it, it, it's incredible. Uh, another, another subway stop oh, here. Shoot. I failed. And then we have our city hall here. Our city hall was definitely one of those buildings that got a little bigger than anticipated. Um, this was another great really? example. I'm really proud of this build because this was another example of our community. I did the framework. I did the basic map layout in cobblestone. But then everybody came in and started helping out. And things, for example, the floor here, the pattern design, this was done by Heather, one of the founders. Uh, Elfigo did the uh, rotunda above us. That's true. Um, what you call me? What? Ooh. Come on now. No, never. never and mind. then the joke's gone. Walls and details and whatnot we did. And the other thing to keep in mind too is this floor here. This is all cover plates. Because Heather. 
That's 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 how crazy what? Heather is. She even the walls, the walls are all inside and outside are all micro block cover panels. That's how crazy she is. Oh. We, also had, uh, issue. we also had issue. We also had on our left side as you come in, we have our main offices. We had the chapter leader office and the sysadmin office. It was me and Turgo. We had our meeting room in between here. I had uh, this is actually pretty cool. I used to have all of my to do lists up on the wall here as signs to try to keep some measurable order to my life. And then Tox came in and gave me this uh, wonderful program on computer craft that actually allows you to enter those kind of to-do lists and be able to create them and check them off as you go along. Again, another great example of the community and what you can do in modern Minecraft. You know, this is this was absolutely incredible and really fun. Um, so it gives you an idea of that. If you head back out to the main area here, upstairs we're going to be all of the other offices for like, you know, uh, the head of rails, head of power, etc., and then we also had uh, our big giant uh, meeting room. We actually held a lot of uh, BRG meetings in this room, got together and had an agenda and everything. Um, so it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun the builds. Uh, and again, it's just another great example of everybody getting together and doing what they could to make things work. And somebody made a face inside the rotunda. Really? Really, people? I, I thought I was seeing things, but... Uh... You are. Yeah, that does actually face. look like a face. <laughs> so that's our that's wonderful city hall. Uh, we actually have already have a new city hall for the new server that's built by Watwick. A little smaller and more yeah, modest than that, that one. Oh, did you? Did we go downstairs on city hall? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. We, so I just saw the stairs. What is yeah, that? down the downstairs never got finished, but uh, I actually had pranked uh, Zero and uh, basically downstairs? had fined him for. Uh, uh, doing uh, pest control services without a permit. And so we actually had uh, city services uh, downstairs. I was actually going to fill this place out, a big long queuing line filled with zombies, so he had to come back and pack in the line. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so I, I was going to actually fill this Must. place up with zombies and have it completely backed up so when he came in, it would just be like waiting forever. And then. Fuck this. If you get to the front of it, he would have then noticed the, the – once you get up to the front here, he would have noticed a sign saying basically out to lunch. And then if you came back out, you'd see the fast pay solution that you wouldn't notice at first. So you'd come over here and just drop off fast pay if it pays fine. I really hate going to the ZMV. That was, that was exactly what I was modeling this after. <laughs> so – so yeah, like I said, that again, I love I love this build not because it's anything grand. I know people can build, you know, more elegant or whatever. But again, it, it's many hands in this, and it was a real heartwarming thing to see all of us work together on it. So getting out of the commercial district, we're gonna go ahead and fly east. Sorry, west over the water oh, here. I gotta find the stairs first. You say fly. Um, how do you do that? F. F. And then, and then it's creative. Fly. Double tap to the uh, left. Oh, there they are. Oh, thank you. So we head, oh, head over the water here, and we're coming to the power plant. Now, the power plant was one of my pride and joy builds on this server, one of the big builds I did. Um, this power plant supplied the power for this city as well as other remote cities. We actually uh, sent power to these other cities via our rail line. And, and our rail line is another thing I'm very much proud of. Tox came on kind of noobish to uh, mods and ended up becoming our computer craft guru and and head of uh, railcraft for building stuff. But the power plant has two different areas here. We've got um, our main turbine area here, and then we have our boilers. The boilers uh, were split between liquid fuel boilers and solid fuel boilers. Um, and I did, what I did, I took the railcraft boilers and then housed them inside of uh, a mock face and try to make them look you know, big and beefy and kind of interesting. Uh, unfortunately, like many of my builds, I'll never get a chance to get them finished. But those boilers would produce a lot of steam. Those would pipe in via these big giant red uh, pipes you see at the top here. And they pipe into the railcraft uh, turbines. The turbines, you know, being this is Minecraft, are just square blocks. So I went ahead and prettied them up and made a demo, uh, kind of a, a sample of one of these. And then VSD was kind enough to come in and she helped skin all the rest of them. So it's all, you know, some design idea. Mm -hmm. And then VSD came and helped clean them up and modify them a little, make them a little prettier. You can see one of the ones up here. You can see how everything is set up here. And I actually, just for fun, even though you don't have to do it, I actually had like a water return for them too. So these things were great. VSD also had the brainstorm that she actually set up a little bit of basic logic with uh, RedNet 
so that whenever the turbines uh, had about to be broken or broken turbines, they have a red light that would come on. So you could walk in here, that oh. would go click on every single one of them. You could just look at the lights and know what the status of these turbines were. So that was a piece of brilliance on Viesti's part. And this I have my moments. Green. So is is the break room still here? No, no, the break room unfortunately is gone. We did have a break room where this yeah. checkered floor is, which was great because uh, there was uh, vending machines and arcade machines and uh, the, the <coughs> obligatory OSHA and uh, equal Oops. rights uh, terminologies and warnings about uh, <laughs> health and safety. Union. And My then favorite outside... was one that said, your rights under OSHA, none. Yes. None. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Out back of uh, the power plant, I started work on a substation, power substation. This was a result of helping talks with Logic for the rails, what we're talking about in just a little bit here, and finally getting what he needed done and just had, and I mean had to do something that wasn't Logic or I was going to kill somebody. So I came over here and made a pretty. <laughs> so this is my little substation. It was going to have some big giant power uh, 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 towers. Rocket. And Something. they came over to the other side here. This is where we get into the industrial area. And the industrial area had a little substation. And this is actually where the power trains come through. Now the industrial area started out as a swampy, heavily treed area. And we ended up going through and cutting all the trees down and leveling out a bit. And we had uh, the water treatment plant that Turgo started. Probably one of the first builds got started and never finished. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> uh, then we, we had have a long history of not getting stuff done. Yes, we do. We're, we we are we are highly proficient in being highly inefficient. <laughs> mm. We're I'm not glad I'm living up to that with the freaking bank. We are not procrastinating. Oh, we house. haven't gotten around to being procrastinating. Yeah, t yet. Tiger's a little strange. He, he actually does build to completion, then tears them all down and rebuilds them again. So he didn't really fit in with us, but we still like him. <laughs> I, I never complete my original build, though. Ah, yeah, it's no worries. <laughs> None of us have. So get to the computer building, because this is my favorite building on the I, I will get there in one second. We had, we had the, water, the, the water was the first one we had. The water treatment plant was the first one we had. And then one of the last things I started to build was the uh, the this area right here, which was um, biofuel processing, sludge processing, which of course is right next to the water purification plant, and manure mm. processing, which again, right next to the water treatment plant, because that made sense. <laughs> um, we also had the uh, the sub the power substation, which is actually where the rails uh, picked up, the trains picked up power for the other uh, cities we'll talk about a little bit here. But uh, one of the other real big build I did that I was very proud of was the data center here. So this is, again, this server was very much all about community. So everybody kind of just stored everything together in one place. So what I did is I went ahead and built a data center. And you can see here, this is one of the first buildings I just built from my head. I didn't try to look for a real world analog. Um, so I just kind of went from there. There's a couple of different slopes of different directions. When you come in the main office area here, you've got access to the AE system. This is also this is my quad charging pad that me and Turgo developed way back in the day. So one of the first videos on my channel was how to build one of these. So you set up, you start right here, and it perfectly lines you up. That you have these quad charging pads all powering at the same time, so you can charge up your bat, your uh, jetpack very quickly, which is kind of cool. In this side, in this side here, we have the racks and racks of storage. Now. Granted, most all of these, except for the first uh, two rows, most all of these are 1K, the smallest storage size you can get. But you have to understand, when I put all of these storage arrays in here, I honestly did not think we would ever actually fill them up. And yet, VSD <laughs> proved me wrong. Between <laughs> VSD and RG's uh, B Sanctuary alone, we started getting yeah. flooded with stuff. <laughs> we actually filled all of them up. And as you can see, they're all red. So I had to go through and start actually rolling them over to 4K. So we actually filled all these up in this, and that's not, that's not even considering the fact that we've got deep storage units for a few select items here as well. So one side was storage, the other side was the, what they call the Big Max. This is the, uh, what make the Oh, I love the rise with that. Damn it! <laughs> that was the episode title. Um, so you can actually, uh, build things through the AE systems. This is, yeah, AE system knows how to build, like, a furnace, for example. That's where all these things were. So that was, that was the data center. And again, this is this is the other big build idea besides the power plant. I was very very happy with it. Um, from there, I actually want to jump over real quick to BRGI because BRGI is one of the first big builds that popped up that wasn't me. Sounds like the next iPhone, but by BRG instead. <laughs> yes, I mean the IBRG. 
Eh, we're, we're breaking the mold. We're being, we're being different intentionally. You want to talk about this a little bit here, VSD? I'll start with the lettering first of all. The lettering was incredible. Yeah, we were originally thinking we were going to have like this big bay where lots of boats and lots of fishing and, you know, lots of sludge along the coast. So I figured oh, big wow, lettering yeah. that people would be able to see from across the bay. <laughs> That's a cute idea. But uh, yeah, this was my first attempt doing lettering with uh, microblock, or not microblocks, uh, yeah. carpenter's blocks. And it looks great. Mm hmm. Actually, and, two, two font sizes. <laughs> and on the inside the, was... Now, I, I just want to pause here real quick. Just disclaimer. This is a look at the inside of Viesti's brain. <laughs> <laughs> For warning. <laughs> For warning. I'm out. Yeah. For, yeah, your, you for your protection, the, the in nether portals have been disabled seconds. in here. Because, <laughs> yeah, reasons. See, yeah, okay. I went in here for two seconds. Out. I immediately went out. <laughs> like, nope. This is gonna be. Con oh God. Oh, so, just confusing the hell out of me. VST decided to uh, back when we were having the problems with all the lag in the workshop because workshop was both semi-automated and automated. It was just killing us. So VST decided to take the Tinker's Construct smelteries out of the workshop. Oh no! And automate the process somewhere quote-unquote distant, which again, back when we first started the industrial area, it felt so far away. <laughs> and then I just went downstairs. Kind of went off the deep end. Went downstairs. Oh, God damn it. Is this what the uh, the workshop at Spawn looked like? It was worse. much, much worse. Oh, no. The, the, the... <laughs> 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 you will you'll never see the likes of the underside of the workshop ever again. <laughs> What was this about you disabled in another portal? Uh, because this is like the inside of my brain. And we, we figured, oh, um, uh, yeah, um, apparently it hasn't been disabled. So yes, it's even more authentic now. Her, she goes to a very unhappy place. <laughs> what, hell? But yeah, I mean, like I said, the one thing I'll give VST credit for is she does a really good job. You look around, like, everything here, or a good portion of it, is all labeled. So she labeled the living gigas out of everything here. I'd Mostly do that. because I figured I would have done something wrong, and someone would have had to have come here to save the server. Which happens <laughs> frequently. <laughs> so, no, usually when the server went dead, it was somewhere completely other than BRGI. This is actually one of my current moments. Yeah, no, it was. It was, it was brilliant. You started to screw up my AE system something fierce because of it, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. And not to mention all the Greg Tech machines here. Now, there's a name we don't hear much anymore. Oh, thank God. Thank God. F you, Greg Tech. God. And that's the other reason this was so remote at the time, because Greg Tech had a standard disclaimer. All of my machi machines can blow up if you do it wrong, if you stand on it, if you use this mod <laughs> in your mod pack. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Greg, he sounds like a problems. great guy. Yeah, it was interesting. So in addition to uh, BRGIV, you had two other buildings over here. Yes. Um, if you go out the front, assuming you didn't fall into the nether portal and, you know, end up in, like, the Eldritch Horror Land, um, the first building you see here, the kind of, like, the white, um, sterile-looking thing is yes. our Matterfab plant. I've got uh, one of the few places that we actually ended up using solar on the server is here. And for the sole solar purpose of making UU matter, which we turned into all sorts of monstrosity things. Yes, we did. It was glorious. And next door to that, we have the gold flower of doom. Climatrol! <laughs> Climatrol! I love that because name. Because every time the server go raining... Uh, Warpertical like, complaining. Yes, he, oh, Eventually, shit. I actually yeah. built a fix for this thing. <laughs> I remember. I remember. I think we should demo being it. crazy. <laughs> you know, it's made out of gold. Blocks, I know. Right? Will it work? Is uh, a question. These are aluminum brass, which by the time oh. I got around to building this, was super easy to make. Oh, speak of the devil. Well, I wonder if there's anything in there. Yes, we. Nobody likes the rain. Oh, yep, there it goes. Oh, bloop, bloop, oh wow. Bloop. Ding. <laughs> Rain is and done. Of course, I'm on the inside, so I don't get to see that light go off one last time. Aww. I recorded it for you. 
But yeah, so if you estimate it, not only functional and to stop the rain, automatically senses the rain and stops the rain, but it also had a nice little light spire that would blink, showing you the, the action of it actually uh, setting up a charge to stop the rain, which is pretty cool. So that's... Remember this reminds me of? Hmm. The, I do. the golden yes. rocket that I made for the Christmas tree. Oh, God. Uh, yes. I, I, again, people, go... <laughs> Check out uh, Lizzie's channel or my channel or BDA's channel. Uh, we have some highlights from that, and yeah, the the, the conversation of, of the of the golden phallus tree ornament was definitely a highlight of that, and I think <laughs> Seshu was a highlight of that conversation. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah.